out there, dude. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, how does it work having a 100 pound wolf dog in the RV with you? And, you know, the concern would be that he doesn't have enough space to roam or whatever. The reality is when we had a house, we had a very small backyard and he actually wasn't able to really run, really do, you know, much out there at all. Like we could let him out off the leash, but he wasn't really able to, you know, do much. I feel like now he has so much more room to exercise, to get to get out and get more exercise um, because we actually have to get out and go for walks and it's it's these kind of like incredible places like this where he's got freedom to enjoy a dog park that was much bigger than his backyard. I think that he has adapted very, very well to this whole lifestyle. Plus, we get out and go hiking. We do things outdoors a lot more. All right, we're gonna finish our walk. You ready to go inside, sleep the rest of the day? It's pretty much all you do. So I just realized what time it is. I've got to go pick up the little ones. What key fob not found? Key fob's right here. The kids have a half day today, so I've got to go pick them up. Um, it is now, what time is it? It is now, come on, something tell me what time it is. Okay, well, it's like 11.20, something like that. And I've got to go pick them up. Cassie told me, I should probably be there about 11.30, and we have about a 20, 25 minute drive. So, I'm a little bit late. I just realized that I forgot my phone, which is not good because I'm supposed to meet Cassie in the parking lot to pick the kids up, and now I can't get a hold of her to find out where we're supposed to meet, so not good at all we'll see how this goes see every day is an adventure okay so i just pulled in the parking lot and cassie and the kids were actually in the jeep so they're right there <laughs> so pretty easy find Hi. sorry okay. i forgot my phone hi, hi so the word's gonna get out that i got proposed to today oh gosh <laughs> you got proposed to <laughs> tell um, me about this um, they did a uh, assembly, like a pep rally, and so they just pull somebody, and they're like they're like dancing, like salsa dancing, and then it changes, and the music is like what was it? Um, not the song, but it was like uh, a love song, and he's just like, and then he gets down, and he's like, it was so funny. He did that to you too, and everybody, everybody was telling me. You're gonna get a new step. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa <laughs> Easy. Whoa. <Yeah>. Easy. <laughs> How am I supposed to feel about that? I love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Did you have a good half day? The afternoon was pretty much fueled by lots of coffee to get things done around the coach, such as folding laundry, putting things away, accompanied by naps and gaming, until Cassie arrived. I miss you. Furry <laughs> He's like, I didn't miss none of that. <laughs> okay, so you didn't get whipped cream. Anything else? Okay. I got beans, cheese, 
taco shells, my taco shells. I'm headed right now to the grocery store up the road from us. Cassie, she went to the grocery store, she did all the shopping, but she forgot heavy whipping cream. And we are making tacos tonight. I'm gonna make queso dip, and I make it with heavy whipping cream. So, she forgot that. I've gotta run to the store up here, and it's a little bit more of a pricier store because it's just a small town grocery store. Um, they have a few items, so hopefully they have heavy whipping cream. We're in luck. They had it. Uh, it kind of scared me at first because I didn't see it on the shelf. It just wasn't standing out. So it was a totally different kind than what I normally get. But it's heavy whipping cream should work. Tonight we're making tacos. And I would say one of the biggest challenges probably cooking in an RV is the lack of space that we have on the counter. But we make it work. We just have to have everything kind of prepped beforehand and have as much counter space as you can make for yourself ahead of time. And just kind of be prepared with that. For this queso, we're going to use Mexican blend cheese. And I'm first gonna add in a little bit of heavy whipping cream just so the cheese doesn't burn to the bottom. All right, gonna cover the bottom of the pan. Put the burner on low. And then add cheese. All right, gonna add a can of Rotel in there. Nice and chunky. Almost lost my taco. Uh, things aren't good inside. Never are. That's why we're sitting out here. <laughs> Hi. Don't be scouting. Scouting your prey. 